Welcome back. Today I'm going to be tying up another Featherwing streamer. This one, known as Hazel, was originated by fly tire Arthur Libby, the creator of the Miss Sharon. Just going to snip off the tag here, come down to the barb. Now I'm going to grab a piece of monofilament here. This is 30 pound test monofilament. Slide it through the hook eye, under the shank, and tie it in. Touching turns forward here. Once I get up here, I'm going to grab some medium oval tinsel, tie this in. All the way back down. Now I'm going to grab a piece of large silver tinsel. I'm going to snip a tie-in point here. Lay this on the body and tie up towards the hook eye. Now I'll throw a couple half hitches in. Now I'm going to wrap forward with the silver tinsel. Even touching turns. Wiggle it back and forth to get it to seat in there better if you're having a problem. As long as your body's even, that should help you uh, help you wrap it a little better. Now I'm just going to secure the material, come in and snip it off, and wrap this oval tinsel to protect the body. About four wraps. Bind that down, snip it off, and throw a couple half hitches in. Snip it off. All right, now time to move on to the front hook here. So I got my size six nymph streamer hook in the vise. I'm gonna start some white thread here. And you can see I've left a little bit of space here. If you have trouble crowding the hook eye, that's a good idea to not start so close to it. Snip off the tag and come in with that rear hook section. Tie it on top. This needs to be leveled out a little bit. There, that's riding pretty straight. So I'm just going to continue wrapping this in. And this 210 thread really allows you to put some pressure on and bind this monofilament down. You really want a big thread for these. So now the same thing for the front. I'm going to come in with the rib, tie that in first. Stop at the barb, and I'll grab my tinsel here. And all the way back up.
Now I'm going to throw in a half hitch just to secure everything. And I'll grab the tinsel and wrap underneath and towards me. Nice even touching turns. And the white thread is nice with this silver tinsel because if you make a mistake, it doesn't show through as much as if you had a black thread. And just a few wraps to secure it. Snip off the waist and come in with the rib. Wrap forward. Snip off the waist. Now I'm just going to secure everything with a few turns. Come in and throw a couple half hitches in. And snip off the thread. Now I've got some red thread and 70 denier. That's why I don't build up too much of a bulky head. Gonna wrap this on. And come in with some bucktail. I'm gonna use the white from the inside. So I'm just gonna pull out the short and fuzzies from the bottom here. And keep pulling away till I'm left with a sparse clump here. I'm just gonna tie it in on top with a few wraps. A few more wraps to secure it. Snip off the butt ends here. Now I'm going to bring the thread back up. Now I'm going to grab some feathers. I've got two orange feathers and two yellow feathers. So the yellow feather is going to be the inside feather. The orange is going to be the outside. Orange just goes over it like so. And the orange is a little bit long, so I'll need to trim it. But I'm going to pair up the other side here. That looks about good. So I just need to pull a few fibers off until it's level with the head. I'm going to grab some Duco cement, put a little drop at the base of the yellow feather here, and I'm going to stick the orange one on top of the yellow, so I've got both pairs done here. I'm going to bring them in, tie them in at the same time, just a few turns over the top here. And then I'm going to bend the stems up so that the feathers don't pull out so easily. Just pinch them down. Take some turns over the top. Come in with my scissors. Snip off the stems. I'll take the thread back to the rear of the head, come in with some peacock curl. So I'm going to place the peacock curl on top and just take a few loose wraps over the top here. And that's a good length, so I'm going to come in and cut this off. And that would be the finished pattern right there. But I think it's missing something. 
I've actually got some pale jungle cock eyes from a lesser quality cape from the top. And because they don't really have any orange on them, I think they would look pretty good with this orange fly. So I think I'm going to tie a few of these in. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to take a few loose turns over the top here. And I'm just going to snip off that stem. Now I'm going to start at the rear again. Work my way forward. And I'll bend these stems back here. Snip those off. Now I'm just going to build up a nice, neat red head. I'll throw in a couple of whip finishes and snip off the thread. And the last step is some head cement. And I'll clean that eye out in a second. But that is the finished hazel, an Arthur Libby pattern. Beautiful looking fly. A couple of variations like the rib and the jungle cock eye. In 2020, I plan on uploading at least one new video every week. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss them. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment. Catch you next time.